check in the living that he's new. Ah, and here comes the rare pearl, the diamond in the rough that my Nisha tells me about. Come, young man. Zachariah Manser. I am... was a lieutenant in abundance. Then welcome to Noctus Labyrinthus, Zachariah Manser, former lieutenant of abundance. I am Dandolo, head of this fair city. Legendary city of the merchants. Apparently less legend than I thought, or been told. But hopefully as glorious as legends proclaim. Regardless, for all who come seeking asylum, it opens its arms to you and your companions. You are free to call it home. Like all who have come before you, you will honor our only request. That you make yourselves useful to our city. I'm sure your skills will place you in high demand. Noctis's first Technomancer. Exciting. You'll have all the help you need with Nisha and Lucky, who I believe you've met. We'll give you a room to get some rest. I hear your trip was quite eventful. There is something else. I would like to personally discuss my expectations of you. You hear? War between Abundance and Aurora's winding down. Aurora took Green Hope. You just left Ophir a few hours ago and didn't hear anything about that. That really surprise you? Your little censorship office probably hasn't decided what to do with the information yet. No, no. Don't look at me like that. You don't belong to Abundance anymore. The truce doesn't behoove us. During peace, the corporations become more suspicious of us and our business suffers. Our city could even be... discovered, which would be catastrophic. In legend, it must remain. What are you... No, no, let me speak. Your welcome here comes at a price. I want you to attack an Aurora convoy. It's right up your alley. And why would I do that? I didn't finish. You will do it in abundance uniforms, dissolving the truce. Do what you want with the soldiers, but let the civilians live. They need to be witnesses that will report back to Aurora. So you keep the war going? Precisely. And while you're at it, bring back the uniforms of the Aurora Technomancers you dispatch. I'm sure I'll find a use for them down the road. Ah, another thing, much more trivial this time, I assure you. The rover you came in on, I'd like you to move it. Put it wherever you want, do whatever you want with it. Just make sure it's not in the way, in the canyon. I just don't want Ophir to stumble over the machine and, as a result, find the road that leads here. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Oh yes, one last thing. My spies gave me a little tidbit that might interest you. Right after your escape, the ASC arrested your Technomancer brothers, that's what you call them, right? From Ophir. Their fate's uncertain, but if I was you, I'd be worried for them. If you're worried enough to want to help them, maybe we can set up some sand sails to get you back. Then your help comes at what cost, assuming it's not out of the kindness of your heart. Don't be so bitter, Zachariah. Business is business, not personal. I just thought, a few Technomancers on our side might be useful. Damn lives haven't been lost already, and you want to just obey him. What choice do we have, Amelia? Look around. We're in the desert. Ophir's after me, and that rover's dead. Choice is ours to make, Zachariah. Ours. But I have been thinking, what is Dandolo really after? With everything he does, he has the future in mind. I wonder what kind of future that is.
Hey there. What do you want, human? I took the rover all the way down into the canyon. Unfortunately, that's where I hit a wild ostrich, and now the thing won't drive. Heard you might be able to help get it back here. And why exactly would we want to help you? We who are just monsters to you and your kind, even here. One of us was just lynched. And what did your kind do about it? Nothing. And when we are sick, what one of you would help us even in fair exchange for serum? Why then, answer me, would we help you now? I understand why you're angry, but none of that has anything to do with me. Do you think people are any nicer to Technomancers? If so, you're wrong. They weren't so busy being scared of us, I'm sure they'd hang us too. Hmm, yes. Brothers in pain. Outcasts should stick together. We will get your machine, but it will take some time. It will not be easy on our ostriches. And we can only do it at night. Give us... 12 hours. That works for me. Thanks. Fucking hope they know what you're doing. They'd better give it back to me without a scratch. I mean, with no more scratches than it already has. Otherwise, I'll make them eat their fucking ostriches. After all, it is their fault. Zachariah, what can I do for you? I moved the rover for you. If Ophir finds the road in, it won't be because of me. Yes, I already heard. Sorry if the request seemed paranoid. Better safe than sorry. So, just when I thought shit couldn't be worse. Her engine's been blown like a john in a whorehouse. Gonna need some spare parts now. A stator, a thermic regulator, a rotor. With only a few rovers out there, it's not like you can just grab those parts from the nearest merchant. There is one in Ophir, though. He used to have a machine for me from scratch. And I heard there may be someone else here in Noctis who sells them, too. However, when it comes to prices, since we don't have abundance of support, it's not the same anymore. Uh... It's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, honey. I wouldn't mind seeing you go broke, but there are other options. Let me think. In my shed, I had a replacement stator ready to go. I imagine that the area is closely monitored, but if you manage to sneak in, maybe you could recover it. I also had a delivery waiting. The quartermaster, Ryan Stewart. I imagine he must still have a rotor in his inventory, since I'm not there anymore. It won't be easy to get it back, but that's your problem. I go back with Ryan, know his inventory well. But with all those soldiers in the barracks, it'll be a tough nut to crack. The final option's a robber I heard of who parts everything he fucking finds. Not a guy I'd want to grab a drink with, but I heard he's got spare rover parts. May have one of the ones we need. And I've heard that he wasn't interested in serum. Maybe you'll have to take chances, who knows. Anyway, it could be a lead. One last thing. I found the tools I'll need. However, I was in such a rush that I forgot to take my serum. I don't have a single drop of it left. And since around here, they don't give away freebies. Here, take this. You will be able to buy your tools. Well done. Wow, this is great. You just have to go get me the parts now. I'll take care of it. The shed, Ryan's inventory, the looter, or if I want to go broke, the merchants. See? I remember everything. What's your pleasure? What are you looking for? I'm looking for spare parts for a rover. 
a stator, a rotor, and a thermic regulator. I have a rotor, if you want. The rest, those are rare, rare pieces you're after, you know. Here. For that price, though, it better be in working order. It's brand new, from what I know. It came from a mechanic who took it from one of those big uh, wind turbines. Take it. It's yours. Thanks. something got a lot of mechanical stuff I was told you might have spare parts for a rover I'm looking for a thermic regulator oh yes yes I got one of those hard to find very hard very rare hard to come by what would you give me in return what do you want for it hmm well, I see two possible trades. I'd love to get my hands on some of that focus drug. I know it's not meant for us, but it gives me a nice buzz. Otherwise, you're a technomancer, aren't you? Yeah. Hmm, good, good. Well, I like to poke around old place. Just the other day I found a technomancer glove, but I can't seem to make it work. Like most all the technomancer stuff I find. I can repair most things, but this, I don't understand how it works, or anyone is supposed to do. But I'm sure you do. So repair it. In front of me. You fix, I watch. You teach, I learn. So in the future, I can do the fixing myself. Got it? You do this. I'll not only give you your thermic regulator, but let you walk away with the glove, too. Maybe. Let me think on it. I'll be back. about that rover part. Yeah? What did you decide? Do you have the drugs? Or are you gonna teach me how to fix the glove? All right, I'll show you. Watch close. There you go. Not exactly like new, but it works. That's fantastic. You know how much Technomancer gear I have in inventory that I can fix now? Oh, you're a good man. Here, keep the glove and take your rover part. I don't need it anyway. Take care. See you around. opinion okay it's fucking bullshit you just ran out here after leaving Ophir in a complete clusterfuck and you stole my rover my baby then you want to make nice so I'll help you save the friends that you left behind they're there because of you they're not just friends you said it yourself I want to save them because I left them there plus there's more to it Amelia I gave them my word and I can't just leave them there without doing something yeah well while you were giving your word, did you happen to mention that- Hey there, you from Noctis. Don't seem like a merchant. <sighs> yes and no. Here on a private matter. You by any chance know the Underworks? Well enough. Even here, there's rules that forbid us to go to certain parts of the city, but in these tunnels, they become little more than technicalities. I'm looking to get to the Technomancer's Chapel. There's an entrance in the crypt, but I don't know how to get there. Well, I can show you the tunnels under the source. 
Once upon a time, I used to smuggle merchandise through there. Remember hearing about some magical gate down there, too? I take it it's the kind of gate only your kind can open? <laughs> yeah, I've run into a few of those along my travels. I'll show you on a map. Be careful, Mr. Technomancer. The tunnels have always been guarded. Now it's probably even worse. Word is that the ASC has forced its way into the chapel's main entrance. I'm gonna need another Technomancer to help me open this gate. Or find another way in. I'm sure it won't be easy, but thanks for the help. It's gonna do a lot of good. Good luck. Good luck. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level.
You're a brave man to come back here, Mr. Lancer. You're also a wanted man. Not that I turn. Wouldn't be good for business. What do you need? I'm looking for something pretty specific. A spare part for a rover. Oh, really? Yeah, well, you know the risks of selling that kind of thing? Risky business doesn't come cheap. For that price, the part better work like new. Of course! I only sell the best. Got great suppliers. Keep it wrapped, though, if you're traveling far. It's pretty fragile. Will do. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. What's good, Zachariah? Got my parts yet? As promised. Rotor, stator, and thermic regulator. Damn. Nice work. Keep up like that and you might start growing on me again. We're gonna get my baby back on the road! Great. Now that I've got everything, I can actually start on the repairs. But it's gonna take a day, at least. And once I start, I'm gonna be neck deep in it, so if you need me for anything else, I ain't gonna be available. Works for me. Sure you'll be able to get it working again, soon enough. Damn straight. Even if you lost your legs, I could get you going again. Now get out and let me work. Take a look. Good as new. Like she's right off the factory floor. Okay, great. So we can get anywhere we need to go? To the horizon and back if you need to. Hi, 
Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. 